morning. Good morning. Happy Friday. My computer was being a little bit laggy, so if it pixelates, let me know. I'm hoping it won't. Fingers crossed. Exactly. It's Friday. I said that. It's Friday. It is Friday. It's so exciting. Cheers. Although having the week off means that if it's Friday, it's over. That's a little. Well, not till Tuesday. Oh, okay. And then, but Tuesday's my birthday. I was just going to say, Tuesday's your birthday. So, ironically, I told people I'd, uh, that I'd be back open for business on the 3rd. Did you, ironically? Ironically. Hmm. Well, isn't that's that, cool. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> what are you having for breakfast? I'm having oatmeal. Oh, no, man. And then my oatmeal is spirulina, sesame. No, I keep saying sesame seeds. Sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, hemp seeds, chai seeds. Well, that's a lot of seeds. Which is um, why you stopped using the protein powder. That's because right. Because it was processed that's and right. it had some stuff in it you didn't like, and you've started adding pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds for protein instead, Correct. which I think is a better option. Uh, well, we're, we're experimenting. <laughs> <laughs> the Aimla, banana, blueberries, and in the bottom of all that is oatmeal. Yes. And as you can tell, he's done making it because all of his stuff has been put away. Stuff is gone. I'm going to have an apple and some peanut butter today, and that is because I have um, a lunch meeting at 12:30, so I'm going to be eating lunch early today. Um, hopefully, I can find something appropriate to eat at the little restaurant where we're going to go. I'm hoping right. to get a soup, a, you know, at least a vegetarian soup and a salad. That's my goal. So, how was your workout? Workout was good. What'd you do? I did back, abs. And the cardio blitz. Why did you do the cardio blitz at the end? Today? I didn't feel like doing it in the beginning, so I wasn't. I, so I was. I did cardio today. I'm sitting on the bike. I get finished with. I, I picked like a 10 mile course or whatever, and I am so out of shape. My lungs are just shot because I haven't been riding because my hip has been bothering me. So my exercise induced asthma was bothering me. My lungs were hurting. It was just not a good ride. But I rode. So I get done and I start looking for him and I realize he's on the bike and I'm like. I'm like, where are you and what are you doing? He's like, 10 minutes. I'm a little loud, dude. Sorry. <laughs> you were a weird human. But he did his cardio, so that's good. I did my cardio, that's good. Yeah. So it's a, definitely a plus. So I wanted to talk to you guys. I, um, as you know, I've been reading some different books. And one that I'm reading is The Hacking of the American Mind, which, as I told you yesterday, is pretty academically dense. It talks a lot about neuropsychology and, and just the neurology of the brain. And Psychologist. So yeah, it's, it's pretty dense, but I'm enjoying it. But it's interesting because it, it pointed out that there are three substances that Americans ingest usually at least every day, typically two at a time. And I thought that was really interesting because there's zero nutritional value and they're addictive. And addictive means they bring pleasure, which is short term, but they don't bring happiness, which is long term. And as Americans especially, and I think the Western world in general, we mistake pleasure for happiness and they're not the same right. so those three substances are sugar caffeine and alcohol and russ is covering his coffee cup which is mostly decaf but it does have a little bit of caffeine in it a little bit and you guys will be very proud of me i hope at least i'm very proud of myself i have my coffee i've mostly switched i told you i used to drink the um french vanilla fake chemical creamer stuff in my coffee right. i've switched mostly to almond milk so I'm very proud of myself. There is a little bit of sugar in here, but I'm very, very proud of myself. It's a good step. Yeah. Laura says she found good oatmeal at Trader Joe's. Yeah. Nice. That would make sense. Organic with ancient grains. Yay! Yeah. You'll have to let us know how it is and how you uh, how you make it, what you put in it. Right. That would be really cool. Yeah, absolutely. So those three substances, zero nutritional value, addictive, meaning they bring pleasure but not happiness, caffeine, sugar, and alcohol. And you know what? We're guilty. We ingest oh, yeah. them. Now, well, not sugar so much. Well, well, I do some. Yeah. And, but we're, we're definitely less on the sugar than, than I think the average right. American. Yeah. I'm certainly less on the coffee because I have coffee once a week. Right. And I drink and mostly you drink decaf. Mostly so decaf. I don't know what the, what the decaffeinated, if that's any better or not. Yeah, I don't know either. And then alcohol, we're, we're usually once or twice a once week. Once or twice a week, yeah. I, and I've, just, I've decided that I'm going to start having just one because I think two is too many for me at this weight. I've lost weight and it just, it's not good. So and man, ironically... With that being said, is everything we read, it always there always is like a two to one ratio for men to women. It's true. You know, so. men men metabolize alcohol better than women do, sadly. Oh, I know you've been sick, that, Laura. I saw your post. I'm so I feel bad for you. So eat yummy stuff that's good for you, and you will feel better. And I know yeah. you know that. I'm not telling you anything you don't right. know. See, Laura, that's why you need a um, food buddy. A food buddy. Because your food buddy right now could go get you those fresh fruits. Yeah, right. Yeah. Although may you, Chuck give you bring you fruit. <laughs> although, and I don't know how close there is a Whole Foods to you. Um, however, 
Amazon now owns Whole Foods. They might deliver. So if, yeah, I'm just going to say, if you order it, you're liable to be able to get it delivered to your house. That's a good idea. So, you know. um, so I did. I came up with three recipes. I narrowed. I took this. The book we've been reading, been showing you all week, has recipes in the back in, in it. So I went through it yesterday, and I picked three recipes. I narrowed it down to three recipes that I might make this weekend. And I told Russ, okay, pick one. And then he picked, picked two. two. And I'm like, no, one. Oh, good. Your neighbor's going to bring you some. That's phenomenal. Very good. So I picked tortilla soup and Tex-Mex bean and cornbread casserole mm -hmm. and potato enchiladas. Those were the three choices I gave him. And he said, oh, make, make the tortilla soup and the potato enchiladas. And I'm like, I'm not making that much food. We won't eat it over the week, course of the week. That's ridiculous. So what we decided to do is I'm going to make the tortilla soup. Yes. And then I found on the Forks Over Knives website, I found a um, recipe for cornbread muffins. So I'm going to, I'm going to make those as well because the cornbread really sounded good to me. Right. And bear so, in mind, if it's on the whole food, if it's on, uh, if it's on Forks Over Knives, it's not going to have sugar. It, it's not gonna it have does oil. have maple syrup in it. Though. Oh, so I they take do it put back. maple syrup in it. But I will post the um, recipes. I will post my opinions of them, and I will post pictures of how it turns out for me on the R and R Journey page um, over the, either over the weekend or on Monday, depending upon when I get to making them. So that will be happening. I also wanted to talk to you guys about what is a calorie. Mm -hmm. And the reason that, because it occurred to me that it, yesterday I told you, our bodies don't have the ability to measure how many calories we take in. Our body only has the ability to measure volume of food. Mm -hmm. And in the American diet, in the Western diet in general, we eat very calorie dense foods. Right. So a lot of fat, very mm -hmm. calorie dense, small volume, large number of calories, meat, same small thing. That's volume, any meat. That's any small animal, right. volume, large calories. I can talk today. Um, and so what happens is our bodies say, I need more volume, because that's the only thing our body has the ability to measure is volume of intake, mm -hmm. and that's translated into enough food. And so it ends up saying, you need more volume, and we end up taking in too many calories. Right. So then I was wondering, what really is a calorie? What does that mean? So I went and looked it up because where did that come from? It's obviously not a real human thing. So a calorie is the number, the amount of energy it takes to raise the temperature on one gram of water, one degree Celsius. Right. Now, how arbitrary is that? Right. That, that's it's, not a thing. So it's, it's not a natural thing. It's something a bunch of scientists got together and said, we got to find a way to measure this. Right. And so they created this, this measuring system that has no true value. There, it's just completely arbitrary. Yeah, yeah. Who cares how much energy it takes to raise a gram of water one degree Celsius? It's not relevant. Right. And you know, the, the fact that they then said, and the average adult human needs 2,000 calories. What? What is that based on? Right. So I think, and this is my opinion, I haven't read this somewhere, I'm making this up, so just so you know. I think that the calorie was probably created so that big food could start telling us how to measure and what we should do. And right. it's the same as telling us you need this fat and you need it. Right. Real food, if you eat real food, has all the balance you need. That's right. It has the volume you need. It has the calories you need. And you don't have to think about it. That's right. And we talked about Can you that. you tell them annoyed about this? Yes. It annoys and as me. we said yesterday, any diet that tells you not or tells you to restrict any one nutrient such as don't low protein or, or no fat or no carbohydrates. I can tell you they're not safe and they're not healthy. Your body needs all three of those in the proper proportion. Right. What Which is the proper proportion? <laughs> it's in nature. Yep. It's when we artificially try to alter that, that it becomes a That problem. gets crazy. And yeah. you're right, Laura. I 100% agree with you. I'm happy to have that conversation with your fitness coach. All calories are not created equal. Your body processes them differently. And it depends upon how your body stores them. Mm -hmm. if, you eat, if you eat a calorie, and we're talking about something arbitrary, remember, right. depending upon what it is, your body may burn it, your body may store it. It may store right. it in your liver where it's easier to get access to. It may store it in, keep it in your blood where it's super easy to get access to. It may turn it into fat, which is super hard to get access to. So, yeah, I agree. A calorie is not a calorie, and there, it's completely ridiculous. Right. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, what was interesting is... Day um, for you for not counting calories, Kat. I think yeah, that's the right exactly, way to go. Exactly. So it's interesting, two things. Is one is I think, you know, as a nation or as, as the Western diet goes, we tend to associiate high calories with high volume. Like we just eat, make that... In our brain. In we our make brain. that leap. Yes, exactly. 
Um, and it's just, it, it's not it's true. It's not true. I mean, like last night I ate that pasta and I kept mm -hmm. eating it. Like I had a lot of pasta and I woke up this morning four pounds later. So <laughs> I don't you know, know how he does that. You know I, I have mean? no idea. So, so, I mean, if I would have ate that much volume of meat, I probably would have gained five pounds over Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and so, and that's Not what it talks the about is, you know, stop eating the meat, but eat three or four baked potatoes. I mean, you, it sounds like a lot, but... It's not. My stomach couldn't take three or four well, potatoes. Yeah, okay. My stomach could do maybe one and a half. Right. I think the point is that eat until you're you're satiated. Like like eat until you feel like you've had enough. And the volume. Don't, don't yep. stop like when you're on a diet. You stop eating, but you don't feel like you've had enough. Right. And and you know willpower doesn't exist. Right. Over the long term, willpower doesn't exist. You will get. You will. Your body will say you're starving me to death. That's not an option. Right. What is Wendy saying? Only way I've been able to lose weight is. Yeah, and that's unfortunate. If you if you do whole food, plant based, right. the volume of food you can eat that ends up being little calories means you're never hungry and you lose weight. Right. I mean, we've lost 20 pounds basically right. by just and, and, because. And, and I mean, like if you could see how much oatmeal, and then I've been picking on peanuts. I had some figs earlier. Mm -hmm. I mean, the amount of volume of food that I that I eat, just pure volume, is. I mean, a lot of people are like, insane. holy cow, yep. you know? I had um, a tortilla with homemade hummus before we left for the gym. I've right. been eating peanuts now. Right. I'm going to have an apple with peanut butter. And we don't even think about calories. We just eat food. Right. And the, the reality is, is when you eat real whole food with the fiber in it, right. your body gets full because there's a lot of volume to it. A lot of volume, it. right. And, and I think that makes the difference. Right. And so, you know, yeah, I mean, when you, when you see these, and I'm not going to mention any names because I don't want any trouble, <laughs> but uh, some of these diets commercially see all that. And, and what do they tell you? They say, you know, the, the meal plans they show you have steak and they have ice cream and they have cookies and they have all the things that, that mm -hmm. we've been taught are things we want. You know, pleasure. Pleasure. Not happiness. Right, right. And then, and then they restrict the, the volume because they're saying they're restricting Aww, the thanks, calories. thanks, Wendy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, and so I think that if you can if you can go ahead and eat whole foods, so you're eating a lot of volume right. but not a lot of calories, I feel like I need to start like inviting people over and just yeah. feed them real food right. and be like, here, eat this. Eat mm -hmm. as much of it as guess, you can. Guest of the week. <laughs> exactly. And that's true, Laura. You don't crave nutrients. Your cells aren't starving because mm -hmm. you're feeding it the food it needs, not the food that your brain has been told oh, that it yeah. needs. Yeah. And I could get into the dopamine versus serotonin and have a real dense conversation about that, right. but I won't do that. Right. I mean – what we've been doing lately is we laugh about it, but as you're watching TV, assuming you watch TV, and you look at the food commercials that come across your oh screen, God, they're hysterical. count how many vegetables you can actually see, how many plant foods you can actually see. I mean, uh, you know, what was it? It was the Taco Bell, and then there was another one where all his day showed was meat protein. And they had one that, that you could see a little bit of lettuce sticking out from like the bun. Yeah, I think yeah. in the Big Mac there's some lettuce yeah. like spilled on the counter. Right, right. But everything, <laughs> it's like a, like like the, the five hour meal had um, chicken nuggets and um, French know, fries and, and I mean just nasty. What about the one yesterday? Was it yesterday that I was at the gym and you said I looked disgusted? I was watching a commercial uh, yes. that was it had football players on it and it was for a blooming and onion. Right. And I was like, literally, my brain was like, they're using athletes to to advertise a blooming and onion, wow. which is onions a perfectly good food, but it, when you bread it and, and deep, deep fry, fry it, it, you ruined it. Not Don't so much. That. Yeah. So. And and, and, and <laughs> you know the um, psychology, as you know, being a psychologist, is know. people think that if athletes are eating it. It's got to be good. It's completely point is, athletes are being paid to be there. They're not actually eating it. That's not part of yeah. their diet. Yeah. You know, and, and I used to be a, a semi-pro football player, and I can tell you that in the days way back, the attitude was whatever's put in front of you, eat it, and eat it all. Because as a football player, you want weight. Right. right? As the as the knowledge um, in health and nutrition has increased, you see more and more athletes are now starting to turn. And they just I just saw the other day. I, I, I Tom Brady on, is. Food. Tom Brady is a whole food plant based. Um, There's person. a Nike commercial. Laura posted it, and I think I posted right. it on the R and R Journey page. There's a Nike commercial that talks about this athlete and how great he is. Right. And at the end, they ask him, "How are you doing it?" And he right. says, "Plant based." Whole food, yeah, plant based. So and that's the, the athletes are coming on board. They right, know, right? Um, but you know, unfortunately, money always plays a a, a heavy hand Big as far as people. Around. You know, I mean, athletes want to make money, so rightly so. They use their name, even if it's you know sort of a diminishing. Um, credibility for them. In the air fryer, I can see that being useful, Laura. Absolutely. You're, Laura's really good. She's a great resource. If you guys you know, need, she's a, a vegan, 
So a little different than the whole food plant based that Happy we are, there, but she, uh, she is a great resource. She's, right. um, I've got to know her on here and she's awesome. Right. Hey, Sean, happy new year to yes. you. Happy new year to all of you. Yes. So yeah. I don't know that we'll be back before the new, before 2018. No, I don't think we will be actually. Interesting. Well, so this we is, may, this is next our... time we're back might be on my birthday. That's right. That's probably more likely true. Now you guys, you may not know. So my birthday is January second, which nobody wants to have a party on January second. Right. So I usually celebrate my half birthday on yes, July second because that's just fun. We but, celebrate our half birthday. Yeah, yeah, we do. Russ makes me balloons that say half birthday on them. We get a cake. It's really cute. Mm. It's silly, but it's cute. So anyway, we're gonna we're keeping you for no reason. We're blathering now. Right now we're blathering. But so I wanted to tell you about um, sugar and caffeine and alcohol being the three substances that we ingest. Pretty much every day, some mm. mostly two at a time that have zero value and are addictive. Mm. And I wanted to tell you that a calorie is a completely arbitrary number. It means nothing. You know, how much you can raise a gram of water mm. one degree Celsius is a silly amount of energy, silly mm. way to measure. So eat whole foods, eat as much as you want, and don't worry about the calories because your body measures volume. Exactly. Thank you for saying happy birthday, Laura. I appreciate yeah, thank it. You, Laura. And we'll be back probably by Tuesday. Um, we we may pop on over the weekend. I think we're going to try and get to the gym. Yes. I will absolutely on the R&R &R journey page be posting the food. recipes and the food and the stuff that I'm making. Mm -hmm. I may set up the camera and actually create a video of me cooking. Right. Wish which me is, luck. Which is probably something we'll put on the website. <laughs> put those on the website. Right. I don't know. We're, we're going to try that. We'll see what we're, that we're, looks we're like. We're playing with what the website's going to have. We're hoping to do a lot of spectacular things. So we got like this basket full of stuff we want to do and probably when we launch we'll have this much and it'll grow as we can. Right. So it'll start out, the website will be a, a small investment for people to subscribe to it and then as we grow it, the investment will grow. Right. To subscribe. And there'll be some free stuff too. It's, not, it's not strictly yeah. a, a, I mean there will be some stuff because obviously we're paying for the website, we're paying for the uh, Thank you, Sean. The host it and what that is. Yeah. Area. So th we'll see. I'm not sure when it'll launch but we're working on it so we're right. super excited about, about all of that. But we'll definitely be back uh, next week, yeah. and we're gonna we'll go to the gym. We'll let you know if you have questions. Let us know. We got a question yesterday about um, shell shellfish. So right. I'm doing some research on that. Yes. And I also got a question about what was the the supplement L. Oh, um, glycosamine. L leg. Yeah. Was that it? Glycosamine. Yeah. yeah. So I got a question about that. Um, somebody posted on. Uh, I don't remember. It's on the R and R Journey page. Somebody posted. So got that done. Right. If you want to look at that. So if you have Definitely. questions, let us know. I'm also working on somebody suggested that we um, use Periscope to do this as well. I had a conversation with someone yesterday about that. So right. I'm looking into learning about Periscope. So yeah. if you go, send me some information about doing videos there and what right. that looks like. Yeah. Uh, he says, am I going to have cake? I might, but probably chocolate chip cookies. Right, exactly. <laughs> so um, is that all we have? I Make sure you it. like our YouTube page, our, yeah. our Journey to Health. I am. Um, I have been posting videos over there. I think that's it. I think that's it. All right. Have a good weekend. Happy yeah. New Year. We'll be back next year. Yeah. Happy New Year. And with that, we will say eat real food, not too much. Mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a good, happy Bye, New Year. Bye, guys. Folks. Thanks. <laughs>